Hello and welcome to Thomas Geiger car, today with the most important Volkswagen of the actual lineup. No, it's not the Golf anymore, even if it's got its 50th birthday right now. And it's not the ID family yet. It is the Tiguan that sells out every other car in the Volkswagen lineup globally. And after seven years, this car is coming in the next generation. Sharpened design, efficient engines, new interior. If you want to know what to expect from that vehicle that will hit European roads later that spring with a starting price of 36,600 euros in Germany, join me on my first test drive and I'll tell you all about it. Yes, Volkswagen has updated the design of the Tiguan a little and has increased the vehicle of roughly five centimeters in length, which is mainly to benefit the rear seat occupants and the trunk space, which now holds 652 liters. But the biggest progression is the cockpit, a huge digital display in the center, digital displays behind the steering wheel and a really cool feature here on the center tunnel. This is a dial as we know it, for example, from BMW, but it has also a small display inside that shows you what are you operating. Once you press it, you change from the drive mode to the volume of the infotainment system. So all easy, all good. We still have those sliders, but now since the menu has been changed, it's much more intuitive. And if you don't know your way around the system, you can now talk to a voice assistant that is much, much better than before. And it's using the artificial intelligence of JetGPT. So you basically have all the knowledge of the World Wide Web in your car and you not can only ask questions regarding the vehicle, regarding your route. No, you can ask everyday questions and everything that's known to the internet will be known to you and your passengers as well in an instant. When it comes to driving the new Tiguan, there's a lot that reminds me of the ID models. Not only that the interface and the cockpit looks pretty much like the ID models. No, also the gear lever has been moved up towards the steering wheel as we know it from the ID models to give you more space on the center console for charging your phones, for holding your cups and your bottles. And most of the powertrains are at least electrified. We're talking about TDI diesels and TSI mild hybrid petrol engines ranging from 130 horsepower to 265 horsepower and we're talking about two significantly upgraded plug-in hybrid versions. They have 204 horsepower in the base model and 272 horsepower in the top model but most of all they have a bigger battery than ever before. Volkswagen has increased the capacity of the battery and has almost doubled the size. Now we're talking about 19.7 kilowatt hours of energy stored in the floor underneath the vehicle, translating to an electric range of up to 100 kilometer. Means in everyday usage, you're almost driving an electric SUV. And if you go for a longer ride, you don't have to worry about charging talking about charging. Charging has been optimized as well to make people really use the big battery and the electric capacity of the new Tiguan. Volkswagen has increased the charging speed. 3.6 kilowatts was the outgoing model. Now we're charging with up to 11 kilowatts, meaning even the bigger battery is charged faster than the small one of the outgoing model. All that combined, so the more refined and the more efficient drivetrain, a good steering and a really good suspension with a good compromise of comfort and agility, making this car the perfect vehicle for family purposes. And once your family is at home and daddy is alone, he can have a hell of a fun in the new Tiguan as well. Thanks for joining me on that first test drive with the new Volkswagen Tiguan. The true successor of a very successful vehicle. Volkswagen was smart enough to keep the core values, to modernize the car just a little bit and to stick to its original ideas. So yes, it is still a very comfy family cruiser with just a little more space, more intelligence 
and more efficiency. So I'm pretty sure this car will outpace the ID family for a very long time and will keep outpacing the Golf and will stay the best-selling Volkswagen of its time. Thank you, Shishye, Saichen and goodbye.